Hello everyone, this is fourth video of the topic percentage of our CSAT PYQ series and in this video we are going to discuss the questions from 2019, right? In 2019 they have asked actually six questions from this topic, right? So this is the distribution, I mean in 2019 they have asked six questions. So in this video we are going to discuss six questions, right? So let's start with the questions. So first question says A and B are two heavy steel blocks. If B is placed on the top of A, the weight increases by 60%. Okay. So A and B are two heavy steel blocks, right? So this is A and this is B, right? So let's say the weight of A is 100%, I mean 100 kg and the weight of B is let's say 60 kg, right? So actually when B is placed above A, then the total weight becomes 160 kg, right? So actually weight of A is 100 and the weight of A plus B is becoming 160 kg because the weight of B is 60 that we have assumed, fine. So actually the weight is increased by 60% when B is placed above A, right? Now after that, how much weight will reduce with respect to the total weight of A and B if B is removed from the top of A, right? So if B is removed, then obviously this 160 kg will be reduced by 60 kg, right? And the weight once again will come to 100 kg, fine. So they are asking how much percentage it is reduced. So 60 is what percentage of 160? Because here 60 has been reduced with respect to 160, fine. So this is 3 by 8, both the numbers are divisible by 20. So this is 37.5%, right? So 37.5% weight has been reduced with respect to the total weight if block B has been removed from the top of A, right? All right, now let's move to the next question. Next question says, when a runner was crossing the 12 kilometer mark, when a runner was crossing 12 kilometer mark, she was informed that she had completed only 80% of the race. So 80% is equal to 12, right? So how many kilometers was the runner supposed to run in the event? So it means what was the length of the total race? Fine. So 100% we need to find. 80% is equal to 12, then 100% is equal to what? So 80 and 100, what is the relation between 80 and 100? This is 4 is to 5. So try to maintain 4 is to 5 here also, right? So 4 into 3, so 5 into 3, it will be 50, right? Or if you don't like this process, you can do direct formula. I mean, you can do direct unitary method also. So 1% is equal to 12 by 80. And then 100% is equal to 12 by 80 into 100. So this is 5 by 4. So this is 3 and this is 15, right? So the length of the track was 15 kilometer. All right, everyone. Okay. This is 15 point. If it is 15 point is written, so it must be 15.0. Though it is a typing error, it must be 15 only, right? Anyways, this is not the concern. Now let's move to the next question. Next question says, Raju has rupees 9000 with him and he wants to buy a mobile handset but he finds that he has only 75 percent of the amount required to buy the handset therefore he bor he borrows rupees 2000 from a friend then okay see everyone 75 percent of the total cost of the mobile is equal to 9000 rupees right so 100 percent of the total cost of the mobile phone is equal to what 9000 divided by 75 into 100 Correct. So this is 4 by 3. So this is what this is 12,000. Right. So actually the total cost was the mobile. The total cost of mobile was 12,000 rupees. And Raju has 9,000 rupees with him and he borrowed 2,000 from his friend. So when he borrowed 2,000 from his friend, so 9,000 plus 2,000, he had 11,000 rupees with him. But the cost of the phone was 12,000. Right. Now the options, Raju is still does not have enough money to buy the handset. Yeah, it is correct. Raju has only 11,000, but the cost of the mobile phone is 12,000, right? So still he has not enough money to buy the handset, right? Okay, now let's move to the other question. Next question is, all the members of a club went to Mumbai and stayed in a hotel, all right? On the first day, 80% went for shopping and 50% went for sightseeing okay whereas 10% took rest 
in the hotel. Which of the following conclusions can be drawn from the above data? See everyone, 10% are taking rest. It means only 90% are going out, right? So out of that 90% uh, shopping and sightseeing, right? So 80%, 50% and total there are 90%, right? So 80 plus 50 minus 90. So 80 plus 50 minus 90. So this is what? This is actually 40%. So 40% are the people who went for both shopping as well as sightseeing, right? Okay. And in sightseeing total 80%. So obviously 40% are left and sorry in shopping total 80%. So 40% are left here. 40% are the people who are going only for shopping. Right. And then sightseeing total we have 50%. So 40% we already have. So 10% are left. Right. So okay. So for shopping total 80% and 40% are the people who are going only for shopping and 40% are the people who are going shopping as well as sightseeing. And for sightseeing, it is like 50% out of that 50%, 10% are the people who go only for sightseeing and 40% are went for sightseeing as well as shopping, right? So this is the breakup of that 90%. Now the options are what? 40% member went for shopping as well as sightseeing. Yeah, it is correct. First option is the correct choice. Now second is 20% member went only for shopping. No, it is not correct. 40% member went only for shopping, right? Okay. So they're asking the correct. So correct is one only, right everyone? So here one first choice is the, I mean, A is the correct answer. Fine. Okay. So now let's move to the next question. Next question is in a school, 60% of the students play cricket. All right. A student who does not play cricket, a student who is not playing cricket, I mean, a student who does not play cricket plays football. All right. Okay. Every football player has got a two wheeler. Okay, fine. Which of the following conclusion cannot be drawn from the above data? All right. So 60% students are playing cricket, right? And 40% are playing football. Right. So question is 60% of the students do not have two wheeler. See everyone, 60% are playing cricket, right? And question is, I mean, the question is saying every football player has got a two wheeler. See everyone, every football player has got a two wheeler. It doesn't mean that cricket player does not have two wheeler, right? Or cricket player, I mean, don't have two wheeler. It, it doesn't apply, right? So first option, I mean, first conclusion is not correct, right? After that, no cricketer has a two wheeler. It is not said in the question, right? See footballer have two wheeler. That is fine. But no cricketer has two wheeler. This is not correct. I mean, this is not has been said in the question. Fine. After that, cricket players don't play football. Uh, this is also not given in the question. See, the thing is, the student who is not playing cricket, he is playing football. That is fine. But the person who is playing cricket is not playing football. It is not mentioned in the question. Right. So this option also is not correct. So question is saying which of the following cannot be concluded. So none of them can be concluded. So answer is one, two and three, right? None of them is concluded. Correct. Okay. So let's move to the next question. Next question is saying in an examination, A has scored 20 marks more than B. If B has scored 5% less marks than A, A and B, the difference between the marks of A and B is 20. And question is saying if B has scored 5% less marks than B, right? So 5% of A is equal to 20. Then 1% of A is equal to what? 4. Then 100% of A is equal to what? 400, right? So A must have scored 400 marks and 20 less from A, it means 380. 380 marks must have scored by B, right? So question is how much B scored? So B scored 380 marks. All right, everyone. Fine. So B scored 380 marks. Correct. All right. I think now the questions are over.
guys now it is the time to discuss about our offerings what unjust offers you guys so we have some programs related to csat only right and let me discuss those programs in detail so first program is csat foundation program this is actually csat foundation program this is a long term program for csat right so those who are targeting like after 2 years or after 1 year so they can join this program right and then csat pyq program csat pyq program is a very targeted program that we have designed here we have collected all the questions that came in csat from 2011 to 2021 and we have segregated those questions topic wise and concepts wise right so we are discussing all those questions and obviously we are discussing the concepts that are coming through those questions in the csat examination fine so we have discussed all the concepts through questions so actually we are teaching in this program through pyqs only right so here you are getting like which type of questions are coming from the, from the certain topic and moreover here we have discussed some other dimensions of those questions also i mean which type of questions may further asked i mean may be asked further related to this topic or a, or a particular topic fine so this is csat pyq program and then csat crash course those two i mean those students who don't have much time or those who have less time they can join this program i mean we have crash course for 2 months for 50 days or for 1 uh, uh, month also right so you can join according to your availability and your convenience fine and then csat weekend batch this batch we have designed for uh, working professional candidates those who don't have time in weekdays they may join this program right it is a very beneficial program for those candidates those who are i mean those who don't have time in weekdays basically fine and then see sat test series along with the discussion see everyone this is again a very good and targeted program that we have designed here we have i mean we have designed the questions which are strictly based on the recent pattern of see sat fine because here obviously if you compare the paper of last two years from other papers then you will see the drastic change right so obviously we have designed the questions based on that only okay so this is a very good program and obviously the discussion is also very important fine how to tackle the paper how to eliminate the options this is actually very important how to read the question properly right so this discussion is also very important and after that we have a free program in our telegram five star question series in telegram see everyone what is this five star telegram i mean five star question series in telegram here we upload five questions every day in our telegram channel okay and we discuss those questions sometimes in telegram and sometimes in our website fine here you may take those five questions every day to get the momentum i mean till the examination you may just get connected uh, with the questions for csat just take five questions every day and uh, i mean maintain your momentum till the examination so this is a very i mean very beneficial program for the students so guys please get benefited out of it right join this program and let me introduce about our uh, contact details so friends we have a telegram channel the link for the same is telegram/unjust right so this is our telegram channel and our website is unjust.com right and if you guys want to talk to us then we have a very simple number 9613192021 right again 9613192021 it's a very simple and convenient number right easy to learn in fact and let me tell you something about our classes so we have offline classes offline classes we have in or in old rajinder nagar new delhi right so if you want to join our offline classes you may contact us and you may come to offline classes which are in or in right and we also have online classes so online classes i mean uh, you just get the link and you may start your lectures right uh, just by contacting us fine so friends so uh, these are the details that i wanted to discuss with you guys right and please uh, stay tuned for very good content we guys are working for you day in day out right and please share these videos with your friends also so that they may also get benefited out of it right so thank you everyone thanks for watching thanks for watching the video thank you thank you so much